I have a book reserved for Ricky Farah. Yeah. This is in pretty good condition for being such an old book. So you read this before? <laughs> Many times. I used to have an old beat up copy. I'm interested in it. Can you tell me something about it? It's a story of a World War II pilot, a Luftwaffe, how he deals with the loss of his wife, and he's about to go back to war. I've just always been really connected to this book. Annabelle, my wife, she actually is the one who got me interested in this book. Whenever I read it, I really see myself in it. So this story is personal to you? In the book, The Soldier, after he loses her, he becomes bitter at life. His wife was someone amazing. And one day, she was gone. And all he has after that is the battles he's sent into. And all his pain and loss, he, he tries to replace the woman he loves. He had become so shrouded both in his past love and in the war that he fought in his present. And so tied down to the images from his past. He's so haunted by the memory of the woman that he loved. The soldier who spent so long living in the past finds himself trapped in it. As if he can't move on. As if he's not able to even take a single step into the future. And maybe the reason he can't leave his wife in the past is because he's only tried to replace her with a shadow. I have some time off soon, honey. I was thinking maybe we could get away from here. That could be fun. What do you have in mind? I was thinking we could go someplace new. Sometimes you see something in someone that isn't really there, no matter how much you want it to be. And sometimes what you had in the past was great, but in the past is where it should stay. The pilot himself was the victim of the story that he created in his mind, a book itself that he kept writing and rewriting. Maybe you should never rewrite a story because you can never make it any better if you loved it in the first place. Maybe the pilot has to move on. Maybe he does. Maybe the story isn't over just because he lost his wife. Maybe his wife wasn't the end of the story. Maybe she was only the beginning all along. Maybe life isn't a story. Because what we'd like to believe are chapters in our lives are always beginnings. I need to read that book myself. Can I check that out next? <laughs>